Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are here once again and unfortunately at a losing streak, but we're going to just go ahead and see who we get. Oh, big oof. Big oof indeed. We get Tainted Eden. Oh boy. I can't remember if I've currently got my mod installed that makes Tainted Eden a little bit better. Basically makes it so that some item effects can't appear on him. But we have started out with not bad stuff. And honestly, this, this cheers me up a bit. Parasite obviously is terrible. So I'm going to assume that my mod isn't on unless Eden start for some reason don't count. Which is actually possible. But stats are real good. And Tammy's head here is... Very nice, despite it literally not killing a single thing in this room, which is kind of baffling. Um, but, yeah. This... Tainted Eden's always a character that he's potentially interesting, but he's just kind of not. Because he's... It's like overboard Zane. You, you, you add so much pizzazz and so much, like, craziness in that it's kind of too much. I think, actually... Thinking about this, I should probably go and use my um, my hangman card in that room with all the money and the bomb. Let's check out our shop first, though, and see if we actually kind of need to. It might not be necessary, but so far, so good. Right, because shop items are really good, but I was just about to say, unless it's a space bar item, and in that case, it's not so great. Although, buying a soul heart is kind of worthwhile right now. So let's, uh, let's go pop over here. Do you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to use the flight to also enter this. And do you know what? A perfectly reasonable item for us to take. Because it will not um, it will not get a chance to trigger. Oh, okay. You troll. It's okay. We got it. Uh, yeah, it won't get a chance to trigger. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, well, well, it will trigger. But it'll only trigger once. And then it'll get rerolled into another cash room item. So pretty good stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, not the most damage there. But our flies, however. Oh, God. Yep. 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 Okay, we managed to get a planetarium item. I really don't know how, and it's gone. Oh no, we've still got planetarium items going on. One of the pools here is not right. I don't know what this little little Bebski is doing that's, that's with us here. Um, I'm not sure. We are going Mother Path. That was uh, unfortunate, getting hit twice on that fight there. Um, but, I tell you what, I'm not super displeased. Yeah, I don't know what this little Bebski following me is doing, actually. Because I don't have the item that gives me the baby anymore. Or at least I don't think I do. Like, none of these items are supposed to give me babies, right? What the hell? But we do have some good stuff going on. I will say, our stats are significantly worse. Um, 20 20, though. Really should have bought that soul heart, shouldn't I? Keep a sack. That's pretty good. <laughs> Donation machine. Abuse. Let's go. Absolutely, completely missed it. Let's go. Don't know how I managed that. Yeah, we'll buy Keeper's Sack here, just because, for one, it's good, but for two, um, it's a shop item. It'll get rerolled into future shop items, so I can get behind that. Um, right. Probably a terrible idea, but there you go. I don't know really where to use Meat Cleaver. I know it's good against some bosses. It, like, insta-kills a few bosses, but otherwise, I'm not super sure. Obviously, 2020 here is pretty great, even with the low damage we've got. You can see with Lodestone as well, it's even better. But yeah, I don't, don't really know how we managed to get into a, a planetarium pool item. This is a bad idea. Uh, but like like I said, I'm just not going to complain, I'll be honest. It's good stuff. I did not see you there, Shadow Boy. Whoa. Whoa there, doggy. Okay, what um, planetarium item have I got now? Is this Saturnus? I need to get a bit more HP going, I'll tell you that for nothing. My HP is not good. Also, my fire rate. Holy hell. What happened to my fire rate? It's been massacred. Look at how they massacred my boy. Yeah, it is Saturnus. Okay, that's... Saturnus is pretty decent here. I like Saturnus. Saturnus, Saturnus. I don't, people say it different ways. I don't really know what's the best way of saying it. But I will accept it for what it is right now. But yeah, health has been rerolled a little bit. A little bit annoying. We do have another Hanged Man card, which actually, knowing we have one currently, we should really go and uh, utilize that fact to get those red chests. Could get some Soul Heart health. And as I've said before, Soul Heart health in this character is pretty good because it's essentially what I call tax-free HP, where it's HP that we can't get removed via uh, rerolls. 
Um, I will wait on that for now. Right, let's go in here. Boom and boom. Yay! That's exactly what I was looking for. Hell, hell yes. I found pills and ate them. Range up. We might as well double up on the range up. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to try and uh, pop this guy with some fire. Come on, dude. Sir? Okay. Apparently, that's uh, a lost cause. I was trying to use the fire, uh, the, the chili, to get a bit going on with that, but it did not care to do so. We've got to remember we can use our... Um, we can use our minecart here to destroy rocks like these ones. So we can get this heart. It's a very useful thing. I don't think it can find secret rooms, although I may be wrong in that regard. Got to admit, I'm not actually sure. I've just not seen it do so before. Ooh. Not that we'll get it for long, not that, not that we'll have it for long, but Crystal Key is real good here. Okay, that'll second phase him at least. Oof. 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 God damn it. Um. Got Venus. Ooh, I did get um Sanguine Bond, which is potentially pretty good. Hematemesis, that's pretty good for us here. Yeah, a Sanguine Bond's one of the ones that I think... It's an item that, that, that kind of went from zero to hero. It used to be so unbelievably bad. And now it's, it's not the best, but it's a lot better than it was. Okay, so Venus is going to help us with um, dropping some hearts here and getting some uh, some charming going on. I think the charming can be really valuable, actually. And now we actually have a soul heart, so getting a devil deal is somewhat viable here. Just use the charm to our advantage here. Oh, God. I'm really liking our uh, buddy in a box right now. He's doing a great job. Honestly, just going to just gonna take Nod Leaf. Not because it's a good item. I mean, it is a good item, but not that I'm going to use it too much. But it's just kind of like it's going to get rerolled, so I don't really care. Okay. Shop again. Hive Mind. Again, we just want to take... We want to have as many items as possible so our rerolls can be as good as possible. Of course, unfortunately, Mum's pad here is uh, quite dookie. Although Mum's pad plus, um, plus Venus isn't a terrible combo, I've got to say. Charming, the ability to charm pretty often, the ability to fear pretty often together, I kind of do work together. Do you see that poop that I charmed and he was like, right, time to roll into a poop. Time to roll into that red poop and kill myself. This is a riveting fight, by the way. Absolutely riveting. Okay. So let's pop in here. Devil Deal items themselves aren't really my gem. We got a damage up. We got another damage up. We got another damage up. And we get some money. We got three damage ups there, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, and do you know what? I'll take one. Just so we get uh, rerolls into devil deals later on. But that damage up will never leave us now. So we've we've uh, put ourselves in a very good position. Of course, we did unfortunately lose our soul heart to do so. But yeah, we get, uh, we get a pretty decent permanent damage up from that. Or at least I think it's permanent. Pretty sure it's permanent. Um, it'd be pretty sad if it wasn't. Right. Fear me. Fear me. Oh, I forgot that one did the double spawns. These guys, there's not really much point in charming, to be honest. Uh, half heart there. Honestly, with a half heart there, first of all, let's um, bomb this out. Eh, strength card's pretty good, but it's not the greatest. Um, let's go into our cash room here. HP up, tears down. Eh. I don't know, HP up could be kind of good, right? Boom. We got the talisman as well. That means that brimstone lasers heal us. It's very situational, but it can be pretty good. On the later floors, is a little better, of course, because brimstone lasers show up a little more often. But once we get to, like, Necro and start seeing Vizzes and stuff, we can use them a little bit. Kind of depends on the... Uh, on the floor that you're on and the rooms that you get more than anything. I mean, it can work quite well on some of the bosses as well. Like, think, like, Reap Creep. Reap Creep has some really annoying brimstone attacks that can, uh, 
be a bit of a problem and having invincibility against those and getting healing from them is pretty good. Check this out. Kind of was expecting this, to be honest. I still don't know what our little ghosty boy is doing. He's not meant to be here, right? Good amount of money for the next floor. Yeah, I think, I think Tainted Eden, once you've completed Tainted Eden, isn't so bad. But while you're doing the completion marks, completion marks just make you want to kill yourself with this character. Ooh, I'd rather take this, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's pop this. Another speed down. Love it. Right, let's go over to these rooms. Yeah, do this just to get a bit of money. When we kill, we get triple shot when we kill enemies. We, uh, okay, this is a room that exists. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that room. That was an interesting one, I guess. It's a bit janky, though. The gimmick's a bit weird. Ooh. Cloak babies rather nice. Got a lot of babies following us right now. Quite a lot of babies. Oh, bugger. Well, there's that gone. Walked right into that one. We got a charmed... Pri oh, we got pride. I was like, what the hell's this dude? And I just realized, oh yeah, we got pride. It seems that our, our babies keep re-rolling into other babies. Unfortunately, we did get soul as our... Um, as our planetarium item there. But, do you know what? I should probably go into our arcade. But on the other side of that, we did get bugger tears, which is pretty good. Right. Take that. I'll leave you guys there for now. I don't know what our other baby is, I'll be honest, because I'm not seeing it in my item tracker. Like, I don't know what's giving us it. Um, Anzus is like, yeah, I'm going to say Anzus is just kind of a card that you just pop, isn't it? We are getting a lot of battery babies. Uh, I suppose they're more items, but I, I don't know. I feel like the battery guys are like the least likely to pay out. Or at least I've, I've found that to be true. So I, I, I tend, normally don't really play them that much. Oh, if we had another key. Uh, that's gross. That's, that's, quite, that's pretty funny. Someone um someone made a, a pillow shading pillow um sprite that's that's horrible if you don't know what that is by the way a lot of um a lot of people that don't know how to sprite or are just getting into spriting tend to try and make I isaac sprites by pillow shading which is r basically where you just um oh so that's a really good item for us here it's essentially where you just we were meant to be going to mother we were weren't we whoops i always forget that um it's essentially where you just like keep getting darker as you shade uh, outwards and it just it looks horrible and it's a mistake that a lot of people make when they go into like um spriting and that's just a little fucking product a little joke about that i found that kind of funny oh god that hit me of course um i don't know what my planetary might miss this time we did keep bugger tears however and we got a nice book to go with it and we just got a health up pill which is pretty awesome Oh, we, we actually have spun this time around. We have three, um... Whoa. Um, why is my fire rate 1.83? Excuse me? I kind of want to just reroll myself on purpose, because this fire rate is dreadful. Like, this is genuinely awful. I can't do much with this. Yeah, do you know what? I'm doing it. I can't, I can't... Okay, my fire rate is just genuinely awful. Like, my, my base fire rate is just terrible. Okay, this is this is a pretty good reroll. And it's gone. What is going on with my tears? I have almond milk. Okay. That's fair. Um, I got almond milk or incubus. I don't know what my planetarium item is doing. I got a trinket I don't recognize either. Let's uh, let's take a little look, see she she see she 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 hurry. Um, let's take a little look he, ha, here, shall we? Inventory. We have this as our trinket, which uh, when picked up, this trinket will automatically gulp itself. Incorrect. While carried, the player has a fifty percent chance to gulp other trinkets when they are picked up for the first time. Okay, so we can. That's a really good trinket. We probably want to um, 
drop that and pick it back up again. And then we got this as well, which is... Ah, this is the Holy Mantle shield on getting hit. Right, so we probably want to drop our trinket and re-pick it up, because I imagine it's not meant to work that way. And now when we pick it up, it should gulp. There you go. Good. Okay. That's that's really good, because gulped trinkets um, don't ever go away when you re-roll. So having the ability to gulp more trinkets is real, real good for us here. Also, we should pop this. But yeah, we've been getting decently lucky with our um, Devil Deal item here. We've been getting um, Incubuses and Twisted Pair and all that sort of good stuff. But this this still isn't a great reroll, I'd have to say. This is a mediocre reroll. I think the, the Trinket was the best thing we got out of it, but Incubus... It's just mainly the Almond Milk I don't want. Did not mean to do that, but there you go. Um, oh my god. I'm... Absolutely biffing this. Okay, we got some good stuff going on now. We've got Terror, which is obviously great. We've got Hurst Hat, which, oh my god, stop looking at what items I have and pay attention to the screen, you moron. I keep getting hit by accident because I'm a just idiot. Also a pretty bad reroll. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> I spent too long looking at what items I've got and then I get hit. It's fine, though, because, like, the more rerolls we get, the better, really. I'll eventually get one that just wrecks the game. We probably already have had one that wrecks the game, and we just didn't get a chance to use it. Femma Goober, but we, we're back to this again. Whoa, what the hell? Did that... What the... What even hit me, then? I am small Bebski here. I got Abaddon. Okay, luckily Abaddon did not transform all of my HP. I was a little worried when I saw that. I looked at my HP and was like, wait a minute. Abaddon, don't you dare. Looks like that is not something that happens, though, which is very nice for us. What up, Gish? Join the crew, Gish. We got many fellas. Join the crew. But yeah, health is not in such a dire state that I feel like we have to... Um... Oh, also, we've managed to keep our red stew damage, which is rather nice. Yeah, health is not in such a dire state that I feel like we have to prevent getting hit and like stop trying to reroll. I think we can purposely go for some rerolls here and there. Obviously, we don't, we, don't, we don't want to be doing it too much, but I feel like it can fit into this uh, a little bit. All right, let's go for this. Hey, it's Sig Monster 2. The lad himself. Okay, I did not mean to get hit there, but it has happened. Whoa. What's going on here? What items do I have that are creating this mess? Um. Oh, this is Pop plus Hemolacria, I think. Plus Aya Belial, plus Mars. I will take this. Uh, yeah, this isn't great. Oh, this also isn't great. I think Pop plus Hemolacura is a synergy that I've never had before. And it's kind of an anti-synergy, because the tier doesn't fall out of the air very easily. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of just chills. But we do get quite a lot of herming on them, because the Aya Belial is giving us that nice herming. We should also try and use Mars just a little bit more often, I think. Just try and get some uh, get some of these in the air. Oh my god, it's, that 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 setup is gone. Okay, so this time we also we're not we're just generally oh it's Pac it's Pac-Man versus Ghosts. Let's go. <laughs> this one also isn't amazing, but it's not terrible. Ooh, compound fracture. Hell yes. Mainly because of Libra. Libra just makes every every setup kind of shite. But our stats aren't awful. But they probably could be better. Libra just makes me sad. Libra used to be an item that I'd take reasonably often. What in the fuck was that? Excuse me? What happened then? Yeah, Libra used to be an item that, like, in, in AB Plus and, like, prior, I, I, I took it a lot. I'd say I took it, like, most times I saw it, but now it's... I don't know what it is about it, but now it's just an item I never take. Oh, it's Chunky Boy. Chunky Boy has entered rage mode. Calm down, my, my, my fat queen. It's okay, my chunk. You don't have to be mad. It's only a game. Just calm your very chunky self. Okay, there you go. He calmed. He he has been quelled. 
trying to use my sack dagger here. Probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. Ow. As said, probably a bad idea. Whoa. This setup's interesting. Okay, let's just take this. Um, This setup is interesting. Neither of those are things that I want. Okay, so we have Monstrous Lung, Herming, Car Battery, Tammy's Head, Twisted Pair. I reckon this could be a build that carries us a little bit here. I don't know how much it'll carry us, but I can certainly see it being plausible, just because this is some some good shit. Yeah, you see? This is some good shit. We get quite a lot of damage out of the shots that we fire. Unfortunately, we don't fire Monstro's Lung with Tammy Head, but we do fire it twice, which is already pretty good. Oh, doesn't matter. This room could uh, end me. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. We just gotta be careful of, like, enemies dying and, uh, releasing shots. That's gonna kill us. Oh, we have the double monstro shot as well, because we have little monstro. That's kind of cool. Like that. I just got hit immediately and had no idea what did it. Uh, now I'm a little confused. We have anti-grav going on. That's nice, always. Oh my god. Health is kind of my biggest concern right now. We don't have great HP. No thank you, sir. Yep, do you know what? I know that I don't currently... Like, it'll re-roll into not an active, so I won't have an active anymore, but I still think that's worth having. Ow. Now we've got what seems to be technology... I don't know. What is this? Is this tech point five? Yeah, it is tech point five. Okay. Uh, I think we should definitely take this. Do you know what? Let's just take both. <laughs> it's a risk, but it's worth it not being able to reroll anymore. And we've got a reasonably good build here. I do need to check what this planetarium item does, though. So let me let me take a little look at that. Because I do not know what that does. Um, plus one soul heart. Enemies have a chance to revive this charmed familiars um, upon death. Chance to shoot charming tears. Decent enough. Uh, okay, this has been reasonably good. We got a $3 bill in there as well. I think that's nice. It's all good. It's all good. Wait, do we have... Oh, I was just going to say we have quad shop. No, we don't have quad shop. We just have $3 bill. I am dumb. But... We do have to be reasonably careful now because we are in a situation where we have very, very, very low HP. So we really can't be getting hit too much. And on top of that, we have pretty low speed right now too. Let's keep the, keep the boys up there. I'm liking this idea of the Charmed Boys. Ooh, Eternal Heart as well. Even better. Okay, I think we got Contract from Below going on there as well. Nice. Wait, did that guy get charmed? He did, okay. I was very confused then. I was like, what? what? I killed that dude. Why is there still a laser? That's good. That's going to be majorly confusing, I think. But we're killing most enemies in a single hit here. And these spiders are popping off. But yeah, at least now we're not going to re-roll when we get hit. Yeah, we, we have good damage. I mean, I kind of can't... Really? I kind of can't believe that we're still getting carried by um, the damage off of... What's its name? Uh, red Stew. I don't know if like the Red Stew damage buff reset when we died or something, but we've got a hell of a lot of damage right now. There comes the spiders. Hopefully these charmed enemies help us out a bunch. I doubt it's really going to be our saving grace, but we'll hope for the best. You, you really want to fall into this mess of spiders? Really should go into that arcade and try and get some HP out of, like, a thingy machine. Nope. No thingy machine. You know what I meant. Fortune Teller. That's the one. I was really gambling that that would uh, gulp there. I hate this room with a passion. With a burning passion.
Is it over? Nope, but it's not. You see what I mean? There's just too many hands. Is that a charmed one? I, I just don't know anymore. Ah, th okay, that's just confusing. This is just... This has gotten quite nuts, I've got to say. There might be something in here that saves our life. Or this guy might just spawn on the sanguine bond spikes. You never know. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, surprisingly. He just literally spawned on the sanguine bond spikes and died. Pretty much. I did not know that was a thing that can happen. But yeah, here's where the shit really gets real. So I think we have enough damage to maintain, and the as the enemies get stronger, the charmed enemies we receive also get stronger. This guy doesn't have charm things above his head, which is very scary, but I believe he is charmed. Um, you little fucker. You absolute fucker. Yeah, the charmed enemies we get do get stronger. I can't believe how much I've been getting, like, losses recently. I mean, I've been taking pretty big risks, so I kind of do understand it. But at the same time, how are my risks not paying off? Oh, dude, that was close. How are my risks not paying off more often? This is so unbelievably confusing. Yeah, I can't tell what's an enemy and what's not. I don't like that item at all. That is so confusing. Anyways... It was a tainted Eden run. What do you expect? I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.